How well do you know your kids? Ohio has more than 600 police officers and sheriff's deputies who walk the beat in a school building every day. School resource officers, or SROs, monitor your children at school when you can't. 10 TV's Tracy Townsend shares some SRO secrets. Just about everyone here at Dublin Kaufman knows school resource officer or SRO Sarah Hall. Good morning, thank you. She's one of seven full time police officers positioned in Dublin's three high schools and four middle schools. I think the, the students definitely feel safe with a uniformed officer in the building. Um, I think the teachers do too. First and foremost, they are law enforcers and now more than ever in the spotlight because of school shootings. Officer Hall says she and her colleagues are trained and prepared to confront and contain any threat. The school's role would be to protect the kids, you know, account for them, get them to safety, where my role would then change from just moving towards the shooter and, and stopping the violence. And at that point, I have no other job. The kids know she's a resource and um, the kids know we have backup if we need it. During our visit, Principal Mike Ulring did in fact need backup after a report of a potential problem with a student. Where are you, Matt? I'm coming out of the classroom right now. All right, if you come down to the office, Sarah and I will meet with you when you get down here. Most often the school day is not as dramatic. Officer Hall spends much of the day outside her office patrolling and What's monitoring for problems including truancy and tardiness, along with the occasional fight. If we have a group of students that, that maybe they're not getting along or you know, that if they're upset about something, it helps to, to work with them ahead of time. But there are demands of the SRO's job you might so not expect, like their role as counselor. One secret from SRO Hall is that our kids talk to her about anything. Sometimes we'll have a student who's upset over something. It could be problems with a boyfriend, a girlfriend, um, a lot of the usual teen drama, sometimes problems at home. Another secret parents should also know is cell phone usage is not as much of a problem as how students are using social media. And social media has really changed everything. So, you know, where rumors can spread in about 30 seconds and be halfway across the world and all the way across town. The SRO's final secret is in the form of advice. Parents should remember they are not their child's friend. You're their parent, but I think it's good to, to have a friendly ear where your son or daughter would feel safe and letting you know what's going on in their life. The U.S. Department of Justice says it is essential that a police officer or sheriff's deputy wants to work in a school and was not assigned against his or her will. The SRO position in most Ohio police departments and sheriff's offices is awarded through a bid process. Sherry Kristen? Just curious, did she share any secrets that surprised you? I would have to say it's that secret that our kids are talking to her and other SROs about anything. You don't really mm -hmm. think that. You think about counselors and that role. And in fact, when we were there, we did see a young person who was upset. Obviously, we couldn't take that picture. But it's yeah. as a parent, you're comforted to know that if your child is upset or hurt, there's somebody there they can talk to. Can parents also talk to the SRO? You can if you make an appointment during the day in the case of Dublin. I mean, teacher parent conferences are usually contractual. So you know, the SRO, aren't, they're not under that sort of parameter. But, you know, if your child has an interaction with an SRO, I would most definitely advise call the school, try to make that connection because they're there for our kids. Yeah. They're a help. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Tracy. Tracy. You're welcome.